I never perceived my attention as something I was never not in control of or something that companies were fighting for like a commodity. However, this class made me realize that my attention is something I need to value and care for in my life and it's a relationship I really wasn't taking care of when I was in the height of my TikTok addiction. How did I go from wanting to be TikTok famous and spending tens of hours a week on TikTok to literally not using it at all? It's because of this class. Throughout the summer, I spent countless hours on the app. It was hard for me to stop scrolling and watching videos and I thought I might as well contribute to making them. In fact, here are a few of my videos that have gotten over a million views on the platform. TikTok quickly became an app that consumed more of my time as I was watching it for pleasure, watching it to understand strategies to help my videos perform better, and refreshing my notifications for likes, engagement, and more. The reason for this is it's only TikTok's goal for you to spend more time on the app. This is the For You page where TikTok's algorithm will push you the content based on your past behavior. The short videos provide us with relevant information to that stimulate a dopamine response and keep you on the app for longer. Whenever taking this class and reading The Attention Merchant, I was exposed to ideas that question my usage of social media as a whole, especially TikTok. I realized TikTok could be somewhat compared to alcohol. It can be delightful in small doses, but can be an intoxicating and toxic cocktail of dopamine disorientation and for some dependency. I overindulged and became light on TikTok and there were countless times where I couldn't focus on my work because of the impulse to check my TikTok notifications. And I'm not the only one. NYU published a paper that reported that self-control problems caused 31% of social media usage. When I learned that we spend more than $500 billion globally on advertising, I realized a large portion of this has now become digital and something clicked in my brain that my viral TikTok has contributed to a metric that TikTok uses to sell advertisements. It essentially grabbed a combined total of thousands of hours of other people's attention that only contributed more to TikTok's success as a platform. It took my attention to make my content and it took millions of people to watch my video. And at the end of the video, they were likely served advertisements that TikTok was able to sell. I took a step back and realized I am literally helping them sell other people's attention like a commodity to businesses. I was helping them further their business through my content creation and creating more products, aka users for them to view their ads and sell them to advertisers. I felt weird knowing I was contributing to essentially enabling TikTok to commodify other people's attention on top of my own. Furthermore, I was sad realizing that I was spending a lot of my attention on TikTok instead of spending it in places in my life that were really productive and fulfilling my talents or purpose in life. And with that, I cut out TikTok. I wanted to take a stand for my attention and take away the ability for TikTok to utilize my attention as a commodity and strengthen my relationship with my own attention. I fixed my relationship with my attention and approved it through my attention prototype. Instead of scrolling on TikTok for 15 minutes in the morning, whenever I woke up, I would do a meditation during that time. I had a more clear head and could plan my attention and where I was going to go throughout the day. I have been a lot more intentional with it. I've gotten back into volunteering, became a lot more involved with my student organizations, and I've also had to experience a lot more tangible, fun times with friends. I've been able to focus on a school assignment or outing without feeling the urge to check TikTok or any other social media, which is a huge progress. Learning that my attention was something I could control, spend, or give was critical in me realizing that the activities I do daily should be ones that I try to enjoy or fulfill my telos, and that my attention shouldn't be something taken up by a company trying to make a commodity out of it. I am now able to balance and plan out where I'm going to spend my attention and have been able to find a lot more balance across friends, schools, passions, fitness, and life in general through the practice of meditation and planning in the morning alongside deleting TikTok. Even though my relationship with attention is imperfect, this class has improved my relationship with attention and balancing my life immensely. And I'm excited to keep improving my relationship with my attention going forward.